everybody. I am Ginger Wolf and welcome Stripped Finance. This video is for informational and entertainment purposes only. I am a feature entertainer and stripper not a financial consultant. Please speak to your financial advisor about any financial matters. And with that out of the way. Let's get into the video. Businesses with little or no cost part 2. Consulting. Starting a consulting business is always a popular free business to start. The type of consulting you choose to offer will depend on your skill set. Do you have a social media marketing background, or maybe you've got legal experience? Any of these are viable and could earn you a wonderful salary. However, I suggest you think outside of the box. Do you know a great DJ? I know a great DJ and ring announcer. I see him promoting wrestling events all of the time. He thinks outside the box. He found an area that needed more people to take notice. And now he promotes these events on a monthly basis. Just because you do not have a bachelor's degree doesn't mean you can't consult with other people about their event. Think hard about what you are good at. Then start consulting with the area you are most knowledgeable. Errant runner or jack of all trades. Have you heard of TaskRabbit? the site where you can essentially ask anyone to do any task for you, no matter how menial? If you look around, you'll find plenty of opportunities. Many businesses need errand runners on a daily basis. Trust me when I say that this opportunity is one that is wide open and has immediate need daily. Does the CEO need his suit cleaned? Does the office personnel need coffee in the mornings? Perhaps the company will need pizza delivered? And if you are doing this for multiple companies, then before long, you may have to branch out and hire more people to help you with your own errand business, building websites. If you know how to set up a killer website, you're in luck, most people don't, and the demand for high-quality business websites is only continuing to grow. In this sector, you have the benefit of working from home. I have my own personal website built, gingerwolf.com. It cost me about $200. However, the quality surpassed all of my expectations. The lady who built it for me took about three days. This was some of the best money I have ever spent. Programming While it is possible to teach yourself programming and build your own app, programming services will always be in high demand. If you are a skilled programmer, you can start a business with no money offering your programming skills. This area is in high demand all over. If you have good coding abilities, this is the perfect job for you. The average programmer's salary is about $40 per hour. That estimate is a base estimate. Driving for Uber. Do you have a car? That's about all it takes to become an Uber driver, along with at least three years of driving experience and a clean record. Uber drivers can make $100 or more per day. This is just from driving around. The added benefit of all the new people you will meet might also spark a new idea for business too. Just think that one Uber ride to the airport might give you the next billion dollar idea. Music lessons or tutoring. I do this as one of my side jobs. Yes. I do tutor children as a side business. If you are great at a specific school subject or play a musical instrument, consider starting a tutoring business. The possibilities are nearly endless, enabling you to specialize in your niche skill set or interest. Most children have some skills at math or English. But parents want their kids at the top of the class. You can add value to that child's life by teaching them a new way to look at a math problem. Or maybe you have a knack for playing stairway to heaven on the guitar. In either case, you can teach these skills to other people and get paid for it. Language teaching and practice. If you speak more than one language, you have a golden opportunity to start a business teaching a language or holding language conversation practice sessions. I know many Asian and Hispanic people who desire to speak English more fluently. If you are bilingual, then this job is for you. There are more than just these opportunities though. Many courts and governmental bodies constantly need bilingual people to help them. This space is needed more than you will ever know. Perhaps this is the perfect job for you. 
Virtual Assistant. If you are organized and can easily accomplish tasks in a timely manner, consider becoming a virtual assistant. Virtual assistants handle scheduling, bookkeeping, and various other administrative tasks remotely from their home office, similar to freelancing as a writer, editor, designer, and so on. Virtual assistants can build up their client base and experience on sites like Upwork or Fiverr. Just to name two. There are multitudes of other sites that will assist you to make this income. House sitting. Okay, sure, you've done house sitting for friends before but can you turn this into an actual, profitable business? House sitting is one of the cheapest jobs on this list. With an investment of just a little bit of time you can start this business. If you have friends, you have house sat for in the past. Ask for recommendations. Get some word of mouth started. The best product gets talked about often. Take the iPhone for instance. People talk about it all the time. If people talk about your house sitting business that much, you will have more clientele than you know what to do with. Home organization. Do you love to keep a clean, tidy home? Does the idea of visiting the container store fill you with excitement? If so, you may want to consider offering home organization services. Many people are unorganized. This is simply a fact. So if you can help them become more organized, they will pay you. There are millions of organizational products on the market. So this could help you organize your finances while organizing your client's life. It's the perfect win-win scenario. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe for my next look into the world of finance. Hi guys, so it's Ginger Wolf. I'm out here hunting you new content. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!